guess we'll call it win number one in the coaching career of Benji Marshall. The Dolphins get us underway through Jermaine Asako. It's David Norfoluma who makes the catch. And they'll defend the northern end of Combank Stadium in this first half. Jake Simpkin into the starting side with Abby Corris out into the halves. Luke Brooks out of action with that problematic calf muscle he has. See if he can make it back on deck. For at least one more appearance for the Tigers before he moves to the Sea Eagles. Now Simpkin to the left hand side finds Papali'i put on his backside there as Isaiah could tell who clutched his head for a moment might have got a bit of a knock there Nikarima going back an awkward bounce for him wearing the headgear and the fullback roll today and the Tigers wrap him up inside the 20. As I mentioned the Dolphins just two wins in their last 11 games after what was an incredible opening to their first season. Six wins in ten games. And they were entrenched in the top eight at that point. Kafusi. Has that become a bit of a minor hamstring issue to be fit for today's game? And playing on that familiar right edge, Jesse Bromwich. Back through the middle here. We'll bring it to the halfway line. And the Dolphins have one more. as Graham from Dummy Half. Feeds it back for Sean O'Sullivan. The kick to go down to... Norfolk Luma. He'll link up here with Jareem Bullard. They'll keep it going. Tupo a chance here. He's a hard man to stop. They did well there under some pressure. Robert Jennings there to make the tackle. As we go downstairs, our sideline eye, Lara Pitts. Yeah, good afternoon, gentlemen. A beautiful afternoon here on Old Boys Day for the West Tigers. Last home game of the season. You mentioned was Benji Marshall forced to move Appy Corisau to the halves today, and that might be the way it remains for the last three games of the season. I just spoke to Luke Brooks on the sideline here about that calf injury, and he doesn't think that he'll be able to get back from it. So we may have seen him play his last game in West Tigers colours. Well, that is a shame after 10 seasons top level for West Tigers and has been a roller coaster ride for Luke Brooks and this is the Tigers last home game of 2023 they'll play the Roosters next week on the road and they finish at Four Pines Park in round 27 against the Seagulls as it turns out Luke Brooks home from next season onwards Coruscant goes to Jareem Bullock a little show there to make the tackle was Cattell with the help of Jennings. Yeah, just looking at how the Dolphins lined up, Tessie New was picked to play wing. He's actually playing left centre out here with Jack Bostock playing on the wing was. And uh, so Tessie New will be marking up against Tristan Riley. Bostock, That's Tiger on debut. Well, the 19-year-old Bostock who made his debut on the wing back in round five for the Dolphins. In the middle here. And now a mistake by West turns it over in their first real attacking situation there midway through the set. Coruscant back on the inside and Uto Ikamanu he was hit there straight away and a nice tackle by Herman S.A.S.A. in the starting side today for Wayne Bennett. And he forces the mistake as we look down into this uh, tremendous stadium at Combank Stadium. And for the Tigers on occasion, of course, the Parramatta Eels. Bulldogs have played some home games here as well. So it's Asako, just on his own side of halfway. Move it back to the middle where Mark Nichols works it forward. Met there by an advancing Tigers forward line, including Alex Twal, who's in the starting side today with David Clemmer to come off the bench for Wes. A chance here on the left-hand side. Tessie New puts the fend up there on Dane Laurie, who was electric last week and that loss to the Warriors Jesse Bromwich takes it down here within 30 of the Tigers line Graham waits at dummy half there's an issue out the back for Cody Nikarima who's out of the play for the moment Katoa goes to Jennings now Asako kicks it back midfield it might land awkwardly in fact getting across to make a good grab was Tristan Riley former New South Wales Waratahs rugby union representative Hales from the north coast of New South Wales. His junior club was the Kempsey Dragons, getting his chance in the NRL for the first time today, Brent. Yeah, turned into a bit of a try scorer at New South Wales Cup this year. 19 games, 14 tries for Tristan Riley. So gets his chance in the top grade this afternoon. So some easy metres for the Tigers to work it away here. 
with just their fourth win of the season. The two wins at the bottom, of course, behind the Dragons, who are in action later tonight on Super Saturday. John Bateman will play it here at the halfway line. Simpkin, he has a port there through Bolle. Boy, if he uses him, Bolle looked to be into some space. It would have been a handful there for Cody Nicarima. Laurie now he goes through Bolle. Alex Twal. And he stopped just outside the Dolphins 20. West with two more tackles in this set. Bolle stepping off the right foot. One away from Jesse Bromwich. Cleaned up by Kafusi. Quick play the ball. Laurie cut out. Goes to Riley. Trying to tip it on there to David Norfoluma. He loses it. And it's Bostock who comes away with it for the Dolphins. Yeah, not a great finish there from the West Tigers. Not much chance for Tristan Riley to do anything. Caught the ball, defence was on him. Um, you're right about the, the run from Jake Simpkin. Had Bolle on his outside. Good recognition to get up and get out of dummy half from the Tigers' dummy half today. But uh, probably should have picked up his support player. And midway through the set, the Dolphins back within range of the halfway line. Nichols goes on to Sean O'Sullivan. They'll play it there at the mid-stripe. We've had just on six and a half minutes of action. No score as yet here at Combat. A chance on this left-hand side with Ewan Aitken. Reprising a role, he played for the Warriors in his time there as an edge forward. Comes back to him now. Graham swings it extravagantly. And now Katoa puts it in the air. Going backwards, some pressure here on Tupo, who makes the catch. And he's done nicely there, but the Dolphins also, through the kick, have the Tigers pinned inside their own 10. Buller looking to his right-hand side. There was nobody there putting a hand up for a carry. That was a great chase and tackle there from Robert Jennings. As you said earlier, when Tupo got the ball in his hands, was here's a handful, uh, and Jennings was able to cut him down and force the Tigers to ruck the ball off their own line. A couple of Lee e just outside the 30 here. Four tackles gone. Twile, little in and away. Got a legs tackle from SASA. As a result, no pressure on Coruscant. Doesn't go deep with the kick. Looking into the sun, Asako makes a clean catch. He swings a quick pass to Nick Arima, who thought about doing likewise to either New or Bostock, but there were plenty of Tigers pushing up on this right-hand side of the field. Very even start to this game. The Dolphins here, just beyond their 30. Graham waits at dummy half. Bostock coming in for a carry. Hales from Shell Harbour. Still a teenager at just 19. Isaiah Katoa, it is a young looking back line in parts for the Dolphins. Bromwich here. Plays it for Graham, now Katoa, goes to Nicarima, chance oh, wow. on the outside there, but Nicarima's pass under pressure from Coruscant goes forward. He'd used his speed well, and there was a chance to create the overlap. Just as he was going to let go of the ball there, Abby Coruscant was able to get his, his hands on the arms of Nicarima. And just foil anything that Nicarima was thinking in terms of picking up players on his outside. Just couldn't throw a regulation pass with the pressure from Coruscant. Jake, Jake. We heard from Wayne Bennett. Nice of Wayne to join us during our pre-game show, talking to you and Lara Brandy. And well, he was full of praise for Trey Fuller, who we saw in the, in the sheds before kickoff. 26 years of age, they're very much a lightweight. And Wayne Bennett, what praise he had for him. He said, one of the most courageous players I've seen play the game. What a rap that is from the great Wayne Bennett. Laurie here, just outside the 30. They're playing for Simpkins. Twile pushes up in support, close range. Tries to get to the outside shoulder there of Bromwich, who makes a good stop. He was a threat last week against the Warriors, Dane Laurie. Almost able to break that Dolphins defence open there too. Now Buller. As they do well, stepping on the inside there, Kapoa. He finds Tupo, who stays alive here. He is a real handful. Ball goes past Coruscant, scoops it up for Vanua Bolle. He looks up and sees O'Sullivan in front of him, along with Aitken. And they've used up four. They're flat on this short side. Laurie cut out ball. Riley here. He tries to pass to Norfolk Luma. 
That one also goes forward. Nice play there. Down this right side, Dane Laurie. I can just imagine he's going to keep terrorising this side of the field. As we said last week, he was a standout for the Tigers. Scored a try late on a couple. And Tristan Riley headed back infield there. That made that pass back to the outside very difficult. Just couldn't get it to go backwards. Yeah, but as they were last week, you mentioned Brandy. Against the Warriors, things happening around Dane Laurie. He'll be a Penrith Panther in 2024. It'll be a real changing of the guard as far as the halves are concerned for the Tigers. Likes of Latu Fayinu coming from the Sea Eagles at the end of this current campaign. Aiden Caesar coming back from the Super League. Jaden Sullivan confirmed during the week he'll be a Tiger for the next four seasons, leaving the Dragons as O'Sullivan. Goes across the halfway line. Last play here for the Dolphins. Comes back to Katoa again. His kicking has been good. This one also will come down in that box in the corner of the field. Tupo got away from Jennings. Gives it to Kapoa. The chase is on. He loses the ball. Gives it back to the Dolphins. And Nikarima has it. Oh, that's catastrophic there for the Tigers. Kapoa down that left touch line. Had a player back on the inside as they shifted left. The Dolphins taken by Ewan Aitken. What a play from Junior Tupo. The flick pass to put Katoa away. Well, the best attacking chance the Dolphins have had so far in the game comes off a real chance there for the Tigers. SASA, Katoa, Kafusi here standing. Well stopped by Coruscant who He's also so courageous throughout his career. And now Harrison Graham. He was off too quickly and puts it down pretty simply in a real like chance it. wasted there yeah. by the visitors. That's dangerous. Kicking to Junior Tupo with only one chaser, two chasers there. He beat Jennings with footwork. And then Asako made the tackle but couldn't, make a, couldn't wrap the ball up. And that allowed Tupo to flick the ball to Kapoa. He was away but spilled it himself and then... Midway through their set, with a real chance in an attacking position, Harrison Graham, in only his fourth game of first grade, didn't make his debut this year until round 17. Uh, just got a little bit, a little bit excited there at dummy half, and the fumble turns the ball over. And as the Tigers work it away, Graham in the side because Jeremy Marshall King with that. AC joint injury he's carried through most of the uh, second half of the season. He undergoes surgery in the days ahead and is out for the remainder of 2023. So Graham will see plenty of game time between here and the end of the Dolphins' first campaign. Bolle here. Has some footwork at the line. Well stopped though by Bromwich. Twile now trying to push in behind the play the ball and still going. Alex Twile. One more here for Wes. Uh, Simpkin gets to dummy half. It comes across where Coruscant puts it in the air. Four chases. Riley is there. Laurie also there. It came off Bostock. Back to Uto Ikemanu. It'll be six more for the Tigers. They don't need six more. For Nua Bole pushing up. He gets the offload. And it's Wes who score first points here at Parramatta. And off the back of the mistake from Harrison Graham, uh, didn't allow the Titans, uh, the uh, Dolphins to get through their set. Happy Coruscant at the back end of the Tigers, puts it up in the air. I, I think it's bounced off a shoulder or a head. It's the chest there of Bostock. Uto Ikamanu, he went to pass the ball to his support players in the middle of the field. The referee was in the road. He had to actually get past the referee and then throw a one-handed pass. Not sure if it'll show yet. Went to pass. Referee got the road. Ben Cummins. He ended up getting off to Bolle. And Bolle too strong. Despite the attention of a couple of Dolphins players. They converged, but not strong enough to stop the Tigers number 13. He was ducking and diving Ben Cummins and very worried. He's about to wear a Steeden in the right lug hole instead. Uta Ikemanu held up the pass, found this man. Now has four tries in 31 games in his NRL career and a, a lock forward, still just 21 years of age, of some promise. Well, a little bit of luck involved in it. 
Bostock just not able to handle the ball came flying in, bounced off his chest straight to Uto Ikemanu and the big front row did well. Ben Cummins put him off. He went to pass it and, and it would have been a try, would have been a much easier try if he had, had, had been able to pass originally, held the ball up, went past the ref and Bolle scores. Appy kicks the goal and they're up 6-0, the Tigers. Has done a heap of kicking in 2023, but he, when he does kick, he kicks well. Coruscant, he makes it six points to nil, Lara. Yeah, and that man there, Benji Marshall, in his uh, first unofficial hit out, he's been taking more and more control over this West Tigers side as the season has gone on. And he told us in the pregame he hopes to put a bit more of a stamp on things in these final three games of season 2023 before taking charge officially next year. What a great start against one of his former mentors, Wayne Bennett. Yes, and it is quite the coincidence that his first game, I guess, in charge is against Wayne Bennett, who he's considered a mentor and a, indeed a friend for a number of years now, pick up the phone and talk to Wayne anytime he likes. In fact, Wayne said he was surprised he didn't get a call from Benji this week. Maybe Benji thought better of it, seeing as the Dolphins were his first opponents. First meeting between these two teams in the NRL, and it's the Tigers on top early on. Is Laurie floating to the left hand side to link up with Papa Lee just outside the 30 when you'll play it here mid set? Simkin as Twelve pushing up was Bolle looking for more action. Twelve as well again. Good meters here after contact from Alex Twelve. Bolle off that right foot. He has that late footwork at the line, which worries middle defenders. He gets a quick play of the ball off the back of it. Laurie kicks towards the corner. Will it be too big? Yes. In the end, it was fairly comfortably beyond the touchline. They do like coming down this short side with. That man, Dane Laurie, whether it's a pass or a kick, just needed that. He wanted it to stay in field. Just got it a bit heavy. They're on top. They have the Dolphins here inside their own 20. Do the hard yards from their own end. Tessie New coming in for a carry. He's reshuffled back line. Name to start on the wing, playing in the centres. Now Jennings on the right side gives it to Osako, who has so much speed. Tupo held him up, and then Kapoa finishes him off, covering from the inside. Nikarima goes to O'Sullivan. Short ball here for Aitken. Laurie was there, so was Bolle, and they stop him just outside the 30. And Graham to Bromwich, oh, flat wow. pass there to Nichols. Boy, it looked more than flat. I think your reaction tells us what you thought, Brandy. Last play. Now it's Katoa. Goes to the line. Finds Nick Arima. Cut out ball. What a pass. Terrific ball. Nick Arima to Isako. And the Dolphins hit straight back. Well, it was a very impressive set from the Dolphins. And what a pass there from Cody Nick Arima. It was Isako hugging that right touch line. Hit with a bullet from Nick Arima. Out the back, Katoa. And then outstretched arms of Junior Tupo. Just couldn't make contact with the ball. They're under enormous pressure. Tupo hedging his bets going in between Jennings and Asako to try and get a touch on the ball. The ball was too good. It's too good for all of them. Outstanding, that bullet pass from side on there. Now sideline camera showing that so graphically. It was at speed and hit this man right on the chest. And as we've seen throughout this season, he's not wasting chances playing on the right wing for the Dolphins. He was one of the real revelations. His combination earlier in the year with Brinko Lee before Brinko Lee had his injury concerns. But there you are. It's a three-way go at the top of the try scorers ladder. Sarko is right there with a chance to finish up with the Ken Irvine medal for the most tries in 2023. That would be something, a real fillip for the Dolphins in their first season. And trying to convert his own try, five in from the touchline. He's hit them well as well with the boots so far this season. And to emphasise the point, he bends one back. We've got a good one here 
To kick off the men's action on Super Saturday, it's six apiece, Brandy, the Tigers and the Dolphins. Well, they've hit back very quickly, the Dolphins, and it was a good set. Um, even though we had doubts over the pass on the play before this one, the, Tiger, uh, the, the Dolphins spread the ball right, made 30 or 40 metres, came back to the centre of the field and then back down that right side through Jermaine Asako. Good hit back. And immediate. He's done well filling in in this fullback role. We'll see what happens next season. Of course, they have new recruits, especially in the backs with Herbie Farnworth and Jake Avarillo joining the Dolphins. You'd imagine that would allow Hamaso Tabuai Fido to go back into a full time fullback role. But Nick Arima has been playing plenty in the, the one jersey with Wayne Bennett needing some defence. He said Tabuai Fido was best served playing for him there. He received the concussion last week, should be back next week. In fact, they have three players missing through concussion. Kenny Bromwich as well as Connolly Lemu Elu also out after Knox last week. Well, does Nick Arima become that 14 that can play anywhere? Fullback at dummy half, in the halves. He's very versatile and he's had a good season, Cody Nick Arima. Been a good signing. And has been perfect man for that 14 rolls. The kick here from Katoa. we go deep again. Comes across to Tupo, who floats towards the uprights to make the catch. He's got Jareen Buller there, decides to use the fullback. Back three for the Tigers, playing with a bit of confidence on these kick returns at times as Tupo takes the carry here and is 25 short of the halfway line. Now Kapoa stepping back into the middle of the field. Quick play, the ball simply jumps out with. Nobody really there at marker. SASA certainly oh, was offside. No, he was offside. SASA was offside there. Hadn't retreated, wasn't at marker. Hadn't retreated the 10 and made the play, the defensive play on Jake Simkin. Good work there again of the try scorer for Nua Bolle back through the middle. And Corusau goes to the air coming forward. Nick Arima makes a catch. There was a collision with Papaliti coming through. The only real chaser for Wes. He went into the back of a dolphin. The referee passed the contact and said it was OK. Nick Arima made a very good catch coming forward. Out outstanding catch and run. As soon as he hit the ground, he was off then, Cody Nick Arima. And, and despite Papali'i copping some interference, uh, legal or not was, I don't know, but he still had plenty of black jerseys coming towards him, Nick Arima, and a fullback coming towards the ball, having to come forward. Very hard to do. Nick Arima outstanding. Now O'Sullivan, and that man Nick Arima again, back on the inside here, sweating on him was Uto Ikemanu. O'Sullivan down the short side again, kicks for Buller, who makes a catch to pass, but would have been a long one out to where Tupo was stationed some 30 metres from him. So it's Riley for the Tigers to work it away here. And to try a piece midway through this opening half. Beautiful afternoon. Middle of August, winter has Harrison. been so mild in Sydney, and that trend continues here. The Tigers get a penalty to help work it away from their own end. Well, it was the whole of the Dolphins' line that just left too early. Uh, made it easy there for Ben Cummins to, to pick them. Nice on the run there from Ben Cummins from the middle of the field. Coruscant finds the Western touchline. The Tigers will go on the attack once again. See what they can offer here as Laurie hands it off. Sean Bloor charging hard, suffered a concussion back a few weeks ago against South Sydney. Missed the subsequent game against the Raiders, which the Tigers went down narrowly. What a narrow loss last week to the Warriors, which had sort of Tim Sheen's quite upset at times in the media conference. Twal, Coruscant finds Laurie, beats Tessie New, almost lost it there in the tackle of O'Sullivan, but he hangs on to it just. Simkin comes back to Bateman, who shows it, keeps it going to Coruscant. Now through the middle, Buller makes an incision. He gives it to Kapoa. He'll reach out. The Tigers are in again. Lovely hands on the right-hand side, back through the middle, beginning with Bateman, and then Jareem Buller with the footwork to put himself into space 
link so nicely with Asukapoa. Yeah, we've been talking about the form of Cody Nikarima at the back for the Dolphins. So what about this man, Jareem Buller? Outstanding play there. Realised he didn't have the speed to get into the corner. Dolphins defence coming across and just turned him back on the inside. Beats Jennings. Beautiful little pass back on the inside. And Kapoa, enormous strength to step out of that tackle and get himself to the goal line. Just watch Buller move. That's brilliant. Katoa had him wrapped up. And Kapoa did a good job to cut back on the inside. Realised that space was back on the inside, not the outside of Jareem Buller, who showed great footwork to beat Jennings. And again, it started with a... A little threat down the right-hand side. Dane Laurie, dummy inside, almost slipping through and getting a pass away. And that gave them the time and space to spread the ball to the right. Appy Coruscant did a great job out wide there to drag in and, and keep the defenders nice and square and just create enough room for his fullback, who is a sensational young player, Jareem Buller. Well, as Coruscant lines up this attempt... Much better than his career success rate in 2023. The chances he's had, and he drills this one as well. Makes four into six, and the Tigers lead the Dolphins. Lara, 12 points to six. Yeah, yeah it was. These two sides have obviously had tough seasons not making the finals, but they've both blooded two exciting rookies in Dolphins, Isaiah Katoa, and that man you speak of, Jareem Buller. Uh, and the club really believes there's no limit to what he could achieve. Benji Marshall saying this week, such untouched potential. He saves so many tries, more than he scores, and I guess one for West Tigers fans to be really excited about for the future. There's no question about that. AJ Kapoa finishing off the work of this man, Jareem Buller. They have found the fullback. I guess they've been searching for now for a number of seasons, the West Tigers. Dane Laurie was an option there for a while, but there's no doubt he is the fullback going forward. Just 21 years of age and now in just game 16 of his NRL career, Jareem Buller is a real keeper. The Tigers begin, and it's Bloor here from just inside their 20. Here is Bateman. Is it, I dare say, a little a Benji Marshall show of the ball by John Bateman to link through the middle there? Already having an impact on uh, the edge players, Benji. A little show of the ball <laughs> just to hold up the Dolphins' defence and then kept it going to the left-hand side. The Marshall effect already having an impact here at the Tigers. Twile again, good metres beyond impact. They're back in Dolphins territory. Simkin for Laurie. Here is Papa Lee E. They stop just outside the 30. West with one more. They come back to Coruscant at first receiver. Puts the kick in. It's a deep one, maybe too deep this time around. Got the radar wrong there, did Appy Coruscant. And Bostak makes a, an easy catch back in the in-goal area and brings it back for a restart at the 20. Well, in the absence of Luke Brooks, Sappy's doing everything. Sappy's goal kicking, he's doing the general play kicking. He's the halfback. Uh, and just got, got that one too heavy. What a player he is. Happy Coruscant has played his entire career in the middle of the field. And there's a lightweight at that. His low tackling a real feature of his play as well. Changes here for the Dolphins. Jared Wallace out there now. Likewise, JJ Collins. And now Nick Arima showing it. Comes back on the inside for Kafusi. We will play it eventually just outside the 30. Graham Waits finds Wallace. Now O'Sullivan straight into a space. He goes to Aitken. He'll get away from Bateman. Lovely work by O'Sullivan to put himself in between defenders. Bateman couldn't get to him, and the Dolphins once again, as they did off the Tigers' first try, hit back almost immediately. Uh, he's got this in his game, Sean O'Sullivan. Just when you think he's going to pass the ball, he'll throw the dummy and run. I've seen him catch so many defenders out, and I think that's what puts... Sean O'Sullivan, he's not in that top echelon of halfback, but he's in the next list. You know, he's a player that keeps the defence on us. He will run the ball, and that if you haven't got a running game as a halfback, well, you shouldn't be a halfback. 
out the back and he does it on a regular occurrence throws the dummy too quick for Bateman on the inside picks up Ewan Aitken who's back from a knee injury got that right knee heavily strapped but Sean O'Sullivan complements the kicking and the organizing with a very clever running game just the show and go. And the speed just burns John Bateman and Ewan Aitken. Back in the second row today. With all hands too as far as the changes. And those unavailable for Wayne Bennett this afternoon in their last road trip in their first season. Ewan Aitken scores. And if Asako can convert from wide out here on the left-hand side, we'll be back at 12 apiece with just 12 on the clock in this first half. The attack has been great to watch from both teams so far here this afternoon. Saka trying to bend it back. It's hooking, but it stays just outside the right hand upright. A narrow lead for the Tigers. It's two tries apiece, Lara. Yeah, they hit back the Dolphins there and uh, some nervous energy here on the sidelines. A popular NRL debut incoming for Redcliffe Dolphins. Q Cup toiler there, Trey Fuller. He's uh, played over 80 games for them since 2018. In fact, 16 games this year with 13 tries and a man of the match effort last start. And he sees his debut shortly. Uh, he's been getting a few back slaps from some of the Dolphins coaching staff. It looks like he's very excited to get his shot today. As Coruscant gets things back underway, the kickoff goes down to O'Sullivan. Almost nervous with anticipation there. The super coach, Wayne Bennett, waiting for Fuller to make his first appearance on the field here. Josh Kirk working it forward here. And we'll bring it back almost to the 30 metre line. Aitken now to use his speed up against Dane Laurie. 5-8 stays with him, though, as Norfolk Luma comes in to make the tackle. Now Tessie New pushing up there. Harrison Graham was an option. New just couldn't get that arm free entirely. As Collins takes it inside the Tigers' 40. He's a great metres once again. And the set after a try as Graham finds Katoa. His kicking has been first rate. They'll find that box again inside the 10. Taken there by Tupo, and they wrap up the Tigers' wing up 10 metres out from his own line. And the Tigers now forced to try and work it away without mistake. The handling has been pretty good from both sides. Tigers 11 completed sets to this point. The Dolphins haven't had anywhere near as much ball, but they've had uh, 8 of 11 sets completed. A Simpkin the back on the inside. David Clement coming off the bench today. Switch there by Benji Marshall with the experienced front rower. An option off the bench for the Tigers this afternoon. Twal nudged to the ground there by Jared Wallace, called to play it. Coruscant goes back to Papaliti. They need to find an option. is always a good one. Oh, he chipped for himself. He was touched by a dolphin but went backwards. Cleaned up there by Graham. Well, we just said he's been doing everything, Appy, and, and the Dolphins actually focused on that and got out and put too much pressure on him. He had to go back to Papali'i down that short side and in the end just ran out of room to put a kick in, even though he got the ball back. And uh, the, the Tigers turned the ball over where they didn't want to, around halfway. And it's an adventurous play in the end with pressure on Coruscant putting Papali'i under the pump. Now... The Dolphins off the back of that mistake. Nick Arima looking for a Sarko once again. This time Tupo is up in the line and gets his fingertips on it. It'll be a knock on by the Tigers and the Dolphins with nine minutes remaining in this first half coming deep on the attack. You know what, they did have them in trouble there. That left side defence of the Tigers under pressure. Kapoa and also Tupo. Tupo getting his hands to this one. But the pass misses that and the goes down that right touch line. And they're back underway, just outside the 20. Collins will play it there. Six again is the call from Ben Cummins. So Sullivan on the right-hand side, looking to link up with Katoa, who was out the back there of Josh Kerr. But the halfback takes the tackle. Kerr goes hard at the line, stops about three or four metres. Twelve was underneath. 
And he doesn't play it there Two, he just waited there, Josh, on the spot. The side, mate. Lee, he's standing the mark. And he said, sir, it has to be played here. And the referee agreed with the Tigers back row. Back underway. Here's O'Sullivan. Flat pass from Wallace. Back on the inside. Good variation from O'Sullivan. Graham goes himself. Caught the Tigers offside again. Another set restart. It's Wallace, Katoa, Kafusi into space. What a tackle by Coruscant. A real try saver. A bootlace job as well. Kerr going nowhere here. Still standing though on his feet. Plays it eventually. It's Wallace. Cut out ball. Goes to ground. Sits up for David Northaluma. He finds Laurie. Bostock did well, otherwise Laurie was going to go a long way downfield. Well, that bounce certainly didn't favour the Dolphins. The ball hitting the ground. David Northaluma off his line quick to capture the footy. And it was, they isolated Appy Coruscant with Felice Kafusi running a line. And it was a great legs tackle. It's a try saver. Without doubt, a beauty there from Appy Coruscant. The Tigers get themselves out of trouble with a turnover. Laurie threatening again. Playing it quickly. Oh, eventually, not so quickly. He was going to. Oh, now he's going to call back for a, push a up. second Jared, time. Jared, push up. And that really has killed the momentum there for the Tigers. Second last play in this set. As Bloor goes down here, 30 out from the Dolphins line. Coruscant at first receiver. And putting some pressure on him again. They come out quickly. Collins was there, so was Wallace. He got the kick in. Riley was there putting pressure on Bostock. But the winger does well. Trey Fuller with the interchange card in hand. It's interchange number four for the Dolphins. So using up quite a few changes here in this first half. And we'll see what the change is. And where Fuller lines up initially here for Wayne Bennett and the Dolphins. Great moment for the 26-year-old. He's waiting for a chance. Out the back for the moment. Nick Arima will take over from Graham in the dummy half position. And Trey Fuller will slide into the fullback role. There is Nick Arima again. O'Sullivan, he kicks. Comes down here to Norfoluma. Norfoluma took his eyes off the ball a couple of times there. Looking at the chases. That was pretty clever by the veteran winger to do that, to take his eye off the ball, Some not once but twice, and still pick the flight of it up back to make the catch. Sometimes that is almost impossible. Once you take your eyes off the ball, it's sometimes hard to find it again. Even though it's the only thing in the sky, if you look away and are looking at the chase, boy, oh. that's well done from Norfolk I thought for a moment he was going to leave it for that man there, Jareem Buller, to make the catch. And I thought, oh boy, there's a mix-up coming here. Uh, David Nofaluma, he was there to make the grab. Papali'i goes back to clean up a loose ball, and here they are. Four plays gone. Need a good carry. Clem up, and he's the right man for the job. He'll stand here in the tackle of Nick Arima and also Collins. And now Simkin from outside the 40, kicking from dummy half, finds the open space between Bostock and Trey Fuller. First touch with 26-year-old. In the NRL, hails from Eidsvold, west of Bundaberg. He came through that hot house of rugby league talent at St. Brendan's in, St. Brendan's in Yapoon, and he's been a Redcliffe Dolphin for a number of seasons now. Post Plus Cup, and after 81 games in that competition, makes his first appearance today in the NRL. Quite the journey to make it to the big stage. As Wallace looks inside, comes outside. And there's O'Sullivan finding you and Aitken, who realised he'd cut back in behind his halfback, so he had to concede to the tackle as Nick Arima waits. Wasn't a quick one. No pressure on Katoa. He goes long again. Down to Junior Tupo. He's got Buller there in support. Steps off the right foot, but straight back into the tackle of Kafusi and also Kerr. And we've got four minutes remaining. It's two tries apiece. And a tight one here, as you would expect, between these two teams at the back end of the season. Coruscant jumping out from dummy half there. Thought there might have been a penalty coming. And Cummins says play on, though. Simkin leads here with Clemmer. Strong 
carry by the, the front row to play it just outside the 30. Simkin with everybody flat on both sides of the field. No shape at all there for the Tigers, interestingly, with a good attacking position. Now some width for Power. A step back on the inside there of Jennings. And he stops him eventually. This is the last. Coruscant, kick it back to the short side. Buller is there. He'll try and make the catch, but coming through at speed. Trey Fuller put his body on the line, turned it over. Coruscant has it. The mistake gives West a big chance, but Bellini for the line. Held up, but only way, just. Coming into one, mate. Yeah, Darren, let me deal with him, mate. Matty, I have no try. He loses the ball, but I don't know whether he gains it, and I just want to check the ground in if he does, mate. Well, they put a, a bomb up down that short side. Trey Fuller came flying through. Looked like he collected the ball, but dropped it when he hit the ground. The Tigers, through Dane Laurie, he broke a tackle, flicked it out to that man. Well, he's lost the ball, clearly. Where the ball comes loose. We're just seeing if there's any action by you and Aiken. Well, that was no try. I couldn't really see. I mean, Ewan Aiken there has his hand around the ball, but he's trying to stop a try being scored. Ewan Aiken is just attempting to wrap up the ball, and Thank Isaiah Papali, he loses the ball into the, the Dolphins' play. We have a decision. Is a very good call. It's at this venue where we saw that situation a couple of weeks back with Clint Gutherson. And the NRL coming Take out little. subsequently saying that that should have been a call of a strip Scrum here. by... Jacob Little. Not exact circumstances in this on this occasion with you and Aitken behind the player. There's Trey Fuller. Makes a good makes a good catch. He drops it on his way down. And then Dane Laurie to Appy Coruscant. Quick play the ball. Papali he throws himself at the line and the ball comes free. Good call there by the bunker. It was referred to them by Ben Cummins. With three remaining in this first half, the Dolphins at their own 10. As Tessie New, who comes in field for a carry. A chance there are. One better teams not known for their, their fondness of really spreading the ball inside their own 20. And you watch now, they'll do exactly that as well. comes across to Kafusi. Up there just outside the 30. Comes back through the middle. So conservative stuff through the big men to work it back towards the halfway line. And Wallace coming to grips there with Sean Gore. And Gore is going to be penalised for his actions in trying to slow down the play of the ball on Jared Wallace. I must apologise for the contact he made with Gore. The referee blows the whistle and through Katoa's boot. I'll have it here, 40 out from the Tigers' line. The sun shining. The Golden West on a classic winter's afternoon. Just perfect conditions here to kick off Super Saturday. It's the former Tiger himself, JJ Collins, playing it there. Katoa turns it back on the inside. Josh Kerr just outside the 20. Didn't get to ground, so Sullivan's off and running, as is Gutoa, tipped on there by Fuller, likewise by Jennings. That was clever from both of them. Two tip-ons back-to-back. Asako just outside the 20. Here's Fuller, and a show takes them on. Stop there, the tackle by Alex Twal. Now Nikarima finds Wallace. O'Sullivan under pressure there from Laurie. Great passing. Comes back to Katoa. A touch by the Tigers. And this will be six more tackles. North Aluma touched it. Stopping the pass there from Isaiah Katoa. It's O'Sullivan. Wallace. Here's Collins in the middle of the field. Tiger back in 2016 and... 2017 as Nick Arima plays it. O'Sullivan takes it to the line. Good stop there by Sean Bloor. Inside the final 60 seconds of this opening half. Nick Arima does a full 360. Comes back to Josh Kerr where there was nothing doing there. So they burn a tackle, but they bring it back midfield. And tackles to play with here mid-set. 
Nikarima finds O'Sullivan. Cut out ball. Tessie knew for Bostock. He tried to catch and pass. But it was too low for the young winger. He couldn't come up with the ball. And the Tigers have done well on repeat sets inside their own 20 to hold out the Dolphins. And there was a chance at the pass. Been a better one for Jack Bostock. His first try in the NRL. The Tigers not too keen to get things underway here. Bateman says, we'll just let the clock wind down, boys, and that'll do us for the opening 40. Laurie called on to play it. No, there's the siren. And Ben Cummins says, that's enough. At halftime here at Combank Stadium. First game of three on Super Saturday. And it's the Tigers, who were pre-game favourites, they lead the Dolphins 12 points to 10, looking for their fourth win of the season. Jareen Buller, one of the stars again. His rookie fullback could well be the Dally M Rookie of the Year. The way things have gone for him as Corazal gets us back underway. The kickoff down to Sean O'Sullivan. And it's a former Tiger in JJ Collins who brings it out here to be stopped just inside his own 20. Warren Smith along with Craig Brandy Alexander and Lara Pitt on the sideline to bring you first of three games. Titans up against the Panthers. That one is next as Fuller gets an offload there from Wallace. And he'll play it there at the halfway line. Nicarima for Kafusi. Good effort there to jam in very quickly. Made by Asu Kapoa to stop things going any further than Isaiah Katoa. Now Kafusi. Just outside the 30 here. Big metres in his first set for the Dolphins since the resumption. Norfoluma again, so casual. He did it again, Brandy. Took his eyes off the ball to look at the players coming through and then picked up the flight of the ball once again. It looked as though he decided he wasn't going to catch it mid-flight. And did quite a job, too, not to get pushed back into the in-goal area. That's where he was headed and was able to break free of a couple of Dolphins defenders to get himself five metres from his try line. So, hit by New, Bostock, and was able to duck underneath both of them. That was an impressive opening set from the Dolphins. Uh, Jared Wallace play midway through that set where he was able to get back in behind the play, the ball, and offload there to Trey Fuller. It was a desperate tackle from Sean Bloor that stopped the young fullback. Now the Tigers down the short side. Looked like Dane Laurie might have been in front of the kick. And yes, Ben Cummins sees that. That was Dane, Dane. quite an obvious one there. He was metres offside back on the inside. And I guess just hoping that the officials had completely missed him. They had it. Yeah, strange play. You're inside your own half and a chance to get the ball out of your own territory. They opted for the, the short, the grubber down this short side. But uh, the chase... Yeah, didn't read things. So after they pick up 70 metres running with the ball in their opening set, the Dolphins here begin at the halfway line in set number two. And after being outperformed as far as possession early in the game, they ended up having more of it than the Tigers at the break. We'll break it down here to just outside the 30. Where Nicarima comes midfield. Wallace goes to Katoa. Kafusi there spinning. Running to Happy Corusau. It's all the K's today. Wallace. O'Sullivan. Comes to Ewan Aitken, who will play it here just outside the 10. Four tackles gone in this set. Nicarima. To the middle was O'Sullivan. Kafusi trying to fend away from Corusau. He's around the legs with Kapoa over the top as well. And here is the last. Long ball back to O'Sullivan. He kicks wide. Norfoluma, a couple of glances. Bostock makes the catch and plants it down for the Dolphins. Try number one in the NRL career of the 19-year-old from Shell Harbour, Jack Bostock puts the Dolphins in front. Well, he's got great height, hasn't he? He's a tall boy, Jack Bostock, and backed his way into the catch, so really gave the Tigers no chance. They gave Norfoluma no chance to take this ball. Just watching Bostock turn his back. Very hard for David Norfoluma to get up and make any attempt to take that ball, even to put him off. And the height of Bostock gave him a great advantage against David Norfoluma on that, in that situation. 
on the spot kick there from Sean O'Sullivan. I'm sure they've checked on side because he was very deep, O'Sullivan. But try confirmed, so that's all okay. What a start from the Dolphins. What a start. Whatever was said at half time, it worked. Their execution, the first set, they travelled 70 metres. The Tigers' poor kick, offside from that poor kick, gave the Dolphins a chance. They started inside Tiger territory and made them pay at the back end of the set with a pinpoint kick there from Sean O'Sullivan. And terrific work from that man, Jack Bostock, 19 year old. Only a few, uh, only his second first grade game. Made his debut back in round five. And here he is, getting a chance at the back end of the season with all the injuries the Dolphins have. Asako from wide out. It smashes into the left hand upright. The conversion attempt. But they do lead it here at 14 points to 12. One of the first ever signings for the Dolphins, Lara, was Jack Bostock. Yeah, Wayne Bennett will certainly be thrilled with this start to the second half. His message at half time was just keep composure. He felt they had chances that they simply didn't nail. If they're patient, they get their execution right, the points would come. Defensively, he just wanted more line speed and for the players to focus on that initial contact. From Benji Marshall, his troops, he just said to them, continue to work through the middle and support around the ruck. He did want them to focus on a high completion rate and to contest their kicks. Well, contesting kicks not being an issue. David Norfoluma, every catch he's made so far today, he has taken his eyes off the ball and looked a couple of times at the men coming through. Now it's worked on every occasion up until the last one. Jack Bostock charging onto it. Has that running start admittedly. But Bostock comes up with a try there with Norfoluma. He was all eyes on the man coming towards him. We'll see if that little uh, trait continues for the veteran winger. And the Dolphins, through Kafusi playing it here is Josh Kerr. Big step off the right foot, gets a legs tackle from Alex Twal, and it means Katoa has all the time in the world to put a kick in. Buller backtracking, eyes only on the ball there, throws a confident pass wide to Dane Laurie, who had to reach out to reel it in. Did so without incident. Yeah, a little bit risky, but they got the metres out of it. Dane Laurie able to... Work his way 10 metres upfield and get the Tigers off their own try line. And it will be fascinating to see what sort of traits come into the Tigers' style of play. There is Norfolk Luma as Simpkin works it forward. And now Bateman dumps it out the back. Buller is there, spins it quickly to Norfolk Luma, who is still midfield after that previous carry. He offloads. This is very much Benji Marshall style of football. Just keep the ball alive. Now Clemmer keeps it going. Out on this left-hand side, Papali'i has an arm free. He finds Kapoa, steps back towards the middle. He wants an offload as well until Kafusi locks it up. Well, there's five or six offloads there, and they kept pushing the ball forward. Sean Bloor off a bouncing ball. Corris out, pops it over the top. Laurie stepping, stepping again. He had you and Aitken in all sorts of trouble there. Finds David Clemmer. And they take it down inside the 20. Some adventurous play from the Tigers. Numbers down the short side. Corusau for Papali'i, but Jennings does well to lock him up with Jared Wallace. And after what was an exciting set from the Tigers, it's the Dolphins who'll take over here inside their 10. I was about to say, what sort of traits do they take from Benji Marshall with their style of play going into next season? And maybe we've seen a couple of examples of it here already. Just might have was. It might be too early for Benji to have that big an impact on the on the on the style of play. Tim Sheens has always been an attacking type of coach. Yes, he has. Himself hasn't quite worked out as Tim obviously planned in the preseason ahead of 2023. But we'll see what happens in off season and what the Tigers come up with early next year. You and Aitken here. 15 into Tigers territory. Comes back through O'Sullivan. Now to Toa. Chasing out hard there. There was some pressure from Tristan Riley. Tupo makes the catch. Was he grabbed beyond the shoulders? No, says Ben Cummins. And he'll play it there at his own 10. Green Buller again looks to that right hand side. Laurie wasn't ready. Neither was Norfolk Luma. Here is the winger now. He offloads it. 
Desperate to keep it alive. Simkin had a chance there to go to Buller and Laurie. They were pushing up. Oh, and now to make matters play, worse. Play, Matt, just let me explain. Simkin was out of play and in front of the he's play of the, the ball. ball. So he's out of play. He can't get involved in the play at all. Well, look, Jake. No, he wasn't, mate. He was in front. Sorry, mate. Well, we've seen a couple of these in we recent have. weeks where the player hasn't been behind the play of the ball as the play of the ball is occurring, but has then got himself involved in the play. And the fact that North Loom are offloaded and it was taken by Simpkin has come from an offside position. A big call, and we'll see if the Dolphins can uh, hammer home the advantage. And amongst all the attacking mindset the Tigers have brought to this second half. They've made a couple of errors, and this one has them under pressure once again here. So it's Katoa to play it. And in reach of the uprights, Nikarima comes right, goes back to Wallace, the other side of the ruck, and will go to ground only about four metres out. Two plays gone. Nikarima pointing towards the post, goes to O'Sullivan instead. Katoa for Jennings. He'll be taken down there by Kapoa. They're out near the sideline. Three plays gone. Josh Kerr back in the middle. Pops it out the back. Nick Arima is there. Nobody else realised the ball came from Kerr. It's Katoa off the back of that who stopped pretty cold by Papali'i. May 5. O'Sullivan. He finds Trey Fuller. Ewan Aikens there. Riley combines with Laurie. I'll drag him towards the sideline, and here is the last tackle. Certainly hasn't been their best set. Tessie New fires it to O'Sullivan, kicks across the face of the uprights, a chance for Jennings, knocked backwards by Asako. That was going to be play on now. It will be a penalty to the Tigers for at least one of the chases on this right edge being in front of the kicker. Well, that was a confused set from the Dolphins until the last play, and a good kick can always rescue a set. And the one from O'Sullivan, and it's Josh Kerr, who was in front of the rest of the chase. I'm assuming that it's his, that it was him that was offside. Looked to be the case there. He was about a metre or so in front of everybody else on his outside. So the Tigers... With the tap restart here, off the kick from the line. Alex Seifarth is on deck now. Just part of 50 minutes to get a chance here this afternoon. Buller being marshalled towards the sideline. Did well in the end, the fullback. To give it back to Kapoa, gets away from Kerr. Runs to Collins, and he'll play it quickly at the halfway line. Simkin comes across to Seifarth. I think in the way there was one of the forwards. It was for Numabole. They wanted to go to Laurie. Instead, they had to take the tackle. Here is Laurie showing it. Bateman was there. 5'8". Air stop, 25 metres out. It's Bateman. Feigned a kick, takes them on, puts a fend in the face of Collins, takes on Katoa. Didn't want to stop the Englishman. Here's the last. Simkin comes back to the middle. Rubbers eventually off the Dolphin, not played at. Seifarth realised that. Still the last. Chorus out. Cut out ball. Kapoa. He comes back in behind a teammate. Buller in a bench. They're going to run into a dead end here. They'll end up in their own in goal area. It's Tupo. Chips over the top. Maybe an awkward one there for Fuller. He did well on the boot to clean it up. Well, it looked Benji like was... Marshall, he's agitated, Brandy. I, I can understand. It looked like it was going to get ugly there as they're throwing the ball backwards. It's hitting the ground. They're just getting their offloads away. Dolphins kept coming forward. In the end, Kapoa or Tupo gets a kick to it and, and it rescues the situation. But uh, a messy last play from the Tigers. That was Benji to the power of 10 on that final play. And he wasn't quite in Craig Bellamy mode. Not yet, but he was uh, almost out of the chair. <laughs> Give him time. It will happen as O'Sullivan with the clearing kick. Comes down here to pull. He was part of that uh, play that was marching backwards towards their own end of the field. For Poa, he was involved also. And now Junior Tupo. He's 10 on his own side of halfway. We've had the one try so far in the second half. Jack Bostock off the end of a bomb. 
Towering over the top of David Norfolk Luma. That was a good run for Noah Bolay. Here's Safar. Finding Clemmer. They're up in his face pretty quickly. Ewan Aitken was there. As Simkin, a little head fake, goes to Dane Laurie. Cut out ball into space. Riley comes to Fuller. Taken down by O'Sullivan. A chance to score on the blue. Now, Safer, crash ball. He reaches out. The Tigers are back in front. What a catch and an effort by Alex Safer. Boy, I've been impressed with him over the last six weeks. Alex Safer coming off the bench has regularly been one of the Tigers' better forwards. And that was a great take under pressure. Those passes are so hard to take on the line. We saw Tristan Riley get into the clear, decide to take on the fullback, but there was cover defence there. He beat the fullback. Cover defence in O'Sullivan. That is a great take under pressure. It, it actually went behind him a bit, which might have helped him back his way into the defence and make him such a hard tackle for Josh Kerr. But then was able to get his arms free and get the ball down across the line. Big play. What a moment for him. Just his second try in the NRL in game number 45 today. 24-year-old puts the Tigers back in front. He's gone 34 games, in fact, since he scored his only try. And off the bench, his carries have been good. And that was an awkward one to take at speed. And he had work to do, as you described so nicely there, Branding. And now Coruscant. Push the Tigers back out in front by four. We've had 15 minutes of action in this second half. A try apiece. Coruscant's kick stays out to the right-hand side. But West lead by two with 25 remaining. We spoke at half-time where the, the Tigers might have been their biggest threat in the second half. And I, I thought the right side, what Dane Laurie was able to do on the threat scene, post for the Dolphins defense in that first half it, it did seem like that was the best way to go and Tristan Riley was the beneficiary of a great ball there from Dane Laurie quick play the ball and quick enough Laurie in a dummy half finding Safar the pass wasn't perfect but Safar under pressure was still able to pull it in and advance himself to the try line of course, this round, as we look down in Combank Stadium, we are united for Daniel Anderson. It has been a massive weekend already. You can go to the danielandersonfund.com.au. We raise funds for Daniel and Nathan Stapleton as well as the Tigers work it away. And that initiative will continue on through the weekend and beyond. The try scorer playing it there. 20 short of the halfway line. We've got a beauty here to kick off things. On Super Saturday at 5.30, Titans and Panthers. Panthers resting a couple of players ahead of the finals. The process might have begun already for Ivan Cleary. The Dragons and the Storm at 7.30 to cap things off. Right here on Fox Lee. Bateman now back in an attacking situation. Great metres for the Tigers. Bateman, though, has he picked up a bit of an injury here? Yeah. Very properly getting right, back John? to his feet. Is it an ankle issue with the right leg? You're right to play the ball. Yep. Just hold it. Just wait that Just Ben Cummins here. Fell a bit awkward. Oh. Well, Sullivan with, dare I say it, something that resembled very much a hip drop. He just, his body weights, as he hangs on around the hips, he swings there, then collides into Tessie Newt. And that's not a classic hip drop. He might well be placed on report, though. It, it might because take some closer investigation, but it, it did seem to be a hip drop. Now, there might be some circumstances that might save him. Some, a suspension was, but uh, as I saw it, he landed on the back of the legs after losing his weight. And that's all they need as far as a, a key indicator in those situations. So uh, Sullivan, who missed a portion of the season, of course, with a pec muscle injury. He to get back for this back end of the season. The penalty puts his team in focus here of the Tigers' attack. And it's Safar who heads towards the uprights. 
Again going close. Having scored just minutes ago, he'll play it a meter out. Here's Clement out trying to replicate what Seifarth did. Set restart here for Wes. Simkin from Dummy Half. He'll reach out. A big gap on the outside there of Jared Wallace. Simkin follows Seifarth's lead. The Tigers go back to back. And again, the leaders are converted try. Just caught the markers unaware there. Facing left, looked like he was throwing a pass out to this left-hand side to Abby Corosau, and then just took off right. And just caught them unawares, was quick enough out of dummy half just to get outside the marker. That's all he needed. Then it was a one-on-one, -on -one and he was able to slip past. And I think you and know, it was Jared Wallace. Just couldn't get himself infield enough to make the play, the defensive play, and that's a big moment. That's a big moment there for Jake Simpkin. 16 games, 17th game this season. Scores his second try. And before the Englishman, John Bateman, was injured, last couple of sets, he's been able to get the ball with a bit of room to move. You need, you need to give Bateman free just give him the ball. Don't yep. try and put him into any space. Don't make him a hole runner. Just pass him the ball and let him run. That is when he is at his most dangerous. And that's the best way to use John Bateman. He has that Cameron Munster ability to just make something out of nothing. At times does John Bateman. From beside the uprights, here is Coruscant. The Tigers a clear midway through this second half. After the Dolphins struck first on this side of half time, the Tigers have hit back two tries in the space of three and a half minutes. Seifarth and now Simkin. The backup hooker to that man, ordinarily, Api Corusau, who's playing as the halfback today. And on today's evidence, with that news that Lara brought us earlier on, that Luke Brooks perhaps unlikely to play again as a West Tiger. Api Corusau might be in the seven role next week against the Roosters and beyond that against the Sea Eagles in round 27. That's the flow of tries so far today. And well, as you see, tries in the 54th and 57th to West. Yeah, and it's been good from the Tigers to be able to turn things around. Momentum certainly with the Dolphins post the halftime break. They put a couple of good sets together. were able to score an early try. Uh, good hit back again from the West Tigers. For the first time in the match, we've had back-to-back -back tries by one of the teams. Clemmer throwing himself into the action here. And hands raised from the Tigers. We thought there was something untoward there from the Dolphins. The referee didn't agree. And it is Bateman who'll play it here inside his own 20. Laurie showing it. Now a shift. There's some depth here for Kapoa. Asako sensed that. Jammed in. Got to Kapoa before... He could link with Judy Tupo. But they keep it coming this side. Very much a Tim Sheen's looking play right there. That's a short side raid going back to back. Now Simpkin grabbed there by Felice Gafusi. Quick play the ball though. No pressure on Coruscant who drills it low down to Trey Fuller who's in the fullback role. And he'll bring it back here, 20 shorts of the halfway line. Trailing by eight. See what the Dolphins have got left here. Still plenty of time for them with a quarter of the game remaining. Pass comes out to Robert Jennings. Now Jesse Bromwich. And he's signed through until the end of next season. 34 years of age. He'll be 35 in 2024. As Fuller does well, makes a clean line bust, comes towards Buller. There was some help there from Kapoa, takes him down. Just a shot across the bow from Trey Fuller. A sign of what he can do. O'Sullivan, Wallace very wide, finds you and Aitken. Good tackle by Riley. Tristan Riley, terrific stop there. Big shift there from the Dolphins on the last play. You and Aitken hitting a bit of a, a hole, and Tristan Riley coming out of the centre position to put a shot on. Shut him down immediately. He made a switch from the Waratahs mid-season to the West Tigers. That's his chance here in the NRL eventually to back end 
2023 season. Good awareness there, good reading as a centre to jam in and snuff it out. Laurie here in the middle of the field. Comes back to Uto Ikemanu, runs towards Jared Wallace, who tried to put a shot on him. Drilled backwards for his trouble. Simkin for Coruscant. There's Papaliki, headed back towards the middle. Not stopped, still going. Comes back eventually, where it's Zaya Katoa who takes him to ground. Coruscant feeds it for Laurie, who puts a kick up, and Buller is the chaser. In a contest there with Fuller. It looked like it came off the hand of Jareem Buller. And Ben Cummins will refer Maddie. this to the bunker as Coming no try. Six. Yeah, Jareem no Buller showing no that's not excitement time. about this one. Uh, we, he's threatened a couple of times, Trey Fuller, to get in behind the Tigers' defence. We saw in that previous Dolphins set. The right side kick chase the Tigers are onside. The excitement that he can show. He's a very quick player, nippy player, but he's not tall, and that's why they'll be kicking at him. And there's the Buller right The ball hand. Comes, then comes off the right arm of Doreen Buller and goes in a forward direction. We have a decision. So while the, the Dolphins hold an advantage on the left side of the field where they've scored a try with Bostock up against North Aluma, I, I would suggest that the bombs now go to the fullback. And the Tigers have worked it out pretty quickly. Standing at just 170 centimetres. What's that in the old? What's that? Five what? Five five? Five six? Five seven. Honestly, <laughs> I'm of a vintage. I probably should be able to do the conversion. I've gone to centimetres though pretty just, much. We, we don't get many players that are 170. That's probably, we, we're not just not used to converting that. Well, 180 is about six foot. Okay. So he's he's about I'm going to say five eight, five six, five six. No, no, taller than taller than five six. He's got to be five foot eight. Here is Jermaine Asako. Well, he can run. He can run. That's all all you need to know. Yeah. Height has never been a prerequisite to be able to play in the NRL. We've known that for a long time. The beauty of this great game. We've got some excitement in store, I think, here in this game today. Dolphins a chance here to put some real pressure on the Tigers. O'Sullivan will find the line. And they'll go on the attack from around about 30 metres out, trailing by eight, but with time up their sleeve. Been some great late bloomers getting a chance so far in, in 2023, haven't they? Trey Fuller amongst them now. Dean Madison just recently getting a chance. The Manly Seagulls also as Nick Arima puts it back on the inside. The beauty of expansion. More jobs to be had. Now O'Sullivan. Comes to Nick Arima. Out the back here is full of beats. Kapoa off the right foot. Went past Coruscant. Went past everybody. Oh, Trey Fuller. Take a bow. What an effort to score on Dubu for the Dolphins. And there is a proud, proud coach who gives the 26-year-old his chance today he wrapped him enormously in our pre-game show right here on Fox League. And that's why he gets his chance today. Well, he did it in the previous set, Warren. He opened the, the Tigers up, got him behind them. But this one, he beat three defenders on his way to the try line. Step, beats a tackle, steps at the Coruscant, gets past Bolle and takes Jareem Buller into the in-goal area. That is spectacular. Doesn't matter, 5'6", five, 5'7", five, he can move. What balance to stay on his feet after the Kapoa tackle. Beats Happy twice, gets past Papali'i. So he's beaten those slouches there on his way to his debut try. And on the afternoon, Wayne Bennett said, I think he's the most courageous footballer I've seen in 40 years. That's a big rap. He's a little man, but he's talented. As we said earlier on, when he came off the field, take over in the fullback role for Nick Arima. Hails from Eidsvold, west of Bundaberg. The product from St. Brendan's at Yapoon. A few good footballers come out of there, and now Trey Fuller here, a late bloomer, scores the try, converted by Jermaine Asako from the sideline. And we're back to a two-point game here at Combank Stadium. What a moment for the Dolphins, Lara.
Yeah, and for Trey Fuller, a big support crew here have come down to cheer him on in his NRL debut from Redcliffe, and they'll be cheering him back there as well. He's played 80 games, as I said earlier, for the Redcliffe Dolphins in the Q Cup. His coach there, Ben Teo, said this week he's tough, he's fiery, he's very strong, and he loves the way he attacks every game, as we just saw there. There's a, a resemblance to a fullback used to score tries like that a couple of different clubs ben barber that was very ben barber like the way he was able to weave in traffic there and there is a resemblance as well with the premiership winner trey fuller scores his first try in game number one and i dare say we'll be seeing more of him in the weeks ahead fantastic if we're talking about number 14 he might fill the bill for Wayne Bennett in round 26 and round 27 when they take on the Cowboys and the Warriors, both games at Suncorp Stadium. Nikarima. A terrific game here. Two points the difference. And it's Wallace. Back on the inside for Trey Fuller. He's just about away again. He tried to keep it alive there for Wallace. Forward pass, can't challenge it. It was forward out of the hands is the call, which is unchallengeable, as you heard Ben come and say, but he is the man of the moment. Yeah, back on the inside, a ball from Jared Wallace. He gets past Alex Seifarth. It was just a desperation lunge there. And I, I think they're right. The ball did go forward. From John Bateman, just to grab the jersey of Trey Fuller. Let's go, boys, quick. Quick, Jake who has excited everyone here, even Tigers fans at Combank Stadium. Well, that's a, an example of the courage that Wayne Bennett was talking about there, just putting his body on the line back through the middle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And you wonder why the Tigers are currently in 17th position and by two games, what just happened there is an example of why they are a real mix-up in the back of the scrum. And they concede possession to give it back to the Dolphins, who from right in front, 30 metres out, Jermaine Asako says, I'll have a crack here at making this 22 apiece. What a simple turnover that was there. Here it was. Happy Coruscant ran behind his lead runner. And instead of just dying on his runner and submitting, he passed the ball. Once you pass the ball, well, you've taken advantage. You've taken your advantage. Once you let go of the ball, that's it. Happy just needed to go to his knees and submit and take the tackle and move on to the next play. He's still there talking about it and here on this left hand side saying run the light, right line for me. But as you say, Brandy, all he had to do was hang on to it and surrender in the tackle. Sarko here. Pretty much straight in front, just outside the 30. Two for four today. But he gobbles these up. A simple kick for him. And we're locked up here. Just under 13 minutes remaining. It's 22 apiece between the Tigers and the Dolphins. Don't forget beyond this one, we'll build up things. The Titans and the Panthers. That one from the Gold Coast. And then the Dragons and the Storm down at Wollongong there at Wynn Stadium. That's the, the lineup we have for you on this Super Saturday beginning right here. Of course, the Dragons, a drama field win in the NRLW game against the Tigers before the men took over here at 3 o'clock. And the action keeps rolling on through the evening. Make sure you stay with us throughout the night. As Nichols will play it here, and the Dolphins scarcely believe their luck. And a moment ago, they were trailing by eight. Now they're back level. And the Ducks on the pond at 22 all. Kafusi. Just outside the 20, we're playing for Graham, who's back on deck in the dummy half roll, Jesse Bromwich, to work it forward. Well, someone is going to break a bit of a drought here. The Titans, have, or rather the Dolphins, have only won twice in their last 11 games. Tigers have lost a, an amazing 10 straight. Second time they've done that in the space of two seasons as the kick comes from Nicarima down to Junior Tupo. So he's going to be feeling pretty good about things at full time. It will be just win number four for the season for the Tigers. And I guess if we call him this game number one in Benji Marshall's career, he'd like to begin 
with a win. And it's what's happened to them over the last month. They, they have been in games for 60, 70 minutes and sometimes lost by a couple of points, both of these sides. And they look back on moments in games that they say, well, that was that was costly. Uh, will we look back and say, oh, the obstruction penalty, that, that cost us the game. We'll see. Well, there's Corris out, and that will stem the flow, and now there's an offload from Bullet in the tackle. It's still been adventurous. Corisau beats Nichols. He's got support. Back on the inside was Bolle. Corisau still weaving. Taken down there 15 metres out. Last tackle for the Tigers. Laurie, cut out ball. It looked forward. Riley gives it to North Arena. He bends past one defender to plant it down. No. And he was short. Short of the line is the call. The pass looked forward anyway to that right edge. Well, they didn't call the pass, though. It was play on. Matty. Tigers are challenging six tackles, saying there's a high tackle in that last play. Well, there was a number of Dolphins players that converged on David Norfoluma over in that, in that far corner. He does have an uncanny ability to beat a tackle, David Norfoluma. He didn't get there. Stopped on his run, came on the inside. Well, there's the high shot. And as he's coming to score, oh, I can't believe how close he's gone. Can't believe he didn't go into touch or get the ball down on the line. Once he broke free of that Tessie new tackle, it looked for all money that North Luma was going to find the try line. So we're very confident he hasn't scored. Has he been taken high? Well, there's high contact. Well, there's no he has. question he's, about that. He's been taken Tessie's high. Tessie's new right arm makes contact with the head of David Northaluma. The challenge by the Tigers is successful. Great challenge. And the fact that he tackled him high was the only reason Northaluma didn't get to the try line, too. Well, I think you're right there. So they will get the ball back here. No, no, just a penalty, Happy. This way, mate. Happy, let me know what you're doing. He did this ask what, about the penalty try there. Kick for touch. Yeah. Okay, just... <laughs> so a kick for touch and bring it in at least 10 metres from the sideline to get things back underway here. As Riley will tap it. And it's Laurie, gives it to Uto Ikemanu. 22 all, 10 minutes remaining. Simkin a dummy half. Comes to Corus out that pass there for Papali'i. I'm hoping they were looking out the back towards the power and also Tupo. Good defence by the Dolphins, though. Corus out. Uta Ikamanu on the charge, taken down just. Fuller was there, so was Graham. Simkin, Corus out, goes to Laurie, over the top, bounces up to North Luma, keeps it in play, had to get the brakes on as he went towards the sideline. They've used up four. Riley brings it back towards Laurie. Here's Bateman under pressure. Josh Kerr came out quickly and did well there. One more for Wes. Simkin, Laurie, rubbers, well weighted. Fuller brings it back, taken down by Laurie. Wore a real shot for his trouble, but another spectacular piece of play by the man on debut. Oh, great anticipation there from Trey Fuller. The kick from Laurie was a good one. Trey Fuller hit the ball running. I thought for sure, at worst, they get a repeat set. He evades two tacklers, hits, gets hit by Laurie. It gets his side out of trouble. Well, he took a real shot in the ribs there from Dane Lauren. He's still sucking in the big ones out the back for the moment. Here's Nick Arima. Pass to Asako. Got away from Tupo, but went to ground in doing so. Tigers have got someone down. It's Jake Simpkin. Still up back up near the 20-metre line. Simpkin has an issue, and out the back on his haunches off that tackle from Dane Laurie. Trey Fuller also isn't feeling so flashy. Now here's Asako. He's down after going to ground on a glancing tackle from Tupo. There's the tackle from Papa Lee, which might have collected Jake Simpkin and taken him down with a bit of friendly fire. Watch it. Oh, a hand right in the forehead. Just make sure we're straight on this tackle. The, the, the heel of his hand, where it's, right there, yeah. 
it above the eyes. Yeah, where it's where your hands the hardest, right in the forehead, just above the eyes. Sarko's good. I'm sure I saw I heard Ben come and say no, he's just winded. And about Jermaine Asako. The Dolphins will be hoping that is the case. And there was no contact with the head, otherwise he may need to go for an HIA. Certainly leaving the field, and that'll be game over for Jake Simpkins. Boy, he took a real shot there. Just shows you how much force. It wasn't a closed fist by any stretch, but he got all the force going through the forearm and the arm there of Papali'i right between the eyes, pretty much. Big effort today, 33 tackles. And watch it again here. There it is. Trying to wrap up the man with the ball. Instead, collects his dummy half, and that'll force a reshuffle here for the Tigers. Last play, O'Sullivan with time back on. He goes to the air, and Junior Tupo's looking at Jareem Buller now. The Tigers' wingers, they want to watch the ball, watch the chases, watch their fullback. Here's David Norfoluma, who's done that all day. A hard in mouth moment there for the new coach of the Tigers, no doubt. Norfoluma playing it eventually. Laurie coming back to the middle. Safer. Three tackles gone. So a switch here by taking over in the dummy half roll for the moment. Buller to Kapoa. Sarko stops AJ Kapoa. Well, he did for a moment. But going again, Kapoa. Now Sarko's got his hands full. Devil's own job taking him to ground. Through the hands they go. It's Papali'i. Buller keeping it alive. Laurie. Seifarth wants to keep it going. He was so keen to pass, he fell over in excitement. He stopped. Just on his own side of halfway. Justin Matamua is out there now in the 18 jersey. He's taken over at dummy half at the moment for Simkin. Long kick. Fuller's back there. Brings it back into the field of play. Grabbed by Riley and also Bateman. Yeah, great chase. Terrific kick there from Matty Corusau finding the ground. Forcing the Dolphins to get back near their try line to get it out of trouble. Play it there through Jennings. Kurt striding into the tackle there of Matamua, and it will be a penalty for a second effort. Just Justin Matamua reaches out, drags him down. Three metres here and a real chance for the Dolphins. Yeah, takes the pressure off too. Play three, they are coming up to tackle four. Nichols looking for a quick play, the ball. Matamua just wouldn't let go of the leg quick enough. the Dolphins. We begin here in Tigers territory. Six minutes remaining. Graham at dummy half finds Nicarima who's in the halves at the moment. Trey Fuller still in the fullback role. O'Sullivan out here on this right hand side. And Nichols going inside the red zone. Midway through the set. Long left hand side. And it's O'Sullivan for Nicarima. He puts the speed on, runs towards Laurie. What a contest that was. Two real live wires coming together. Goes back to O'Sullivan. He Here's Asako. Midfield wants to take the lead and has. Asako with the one pointer. Makes it Dolphins 23, Tigers 22. Yeah, great play, Dolphins. Jermaine Asako standing back deeper. Gets the ball from Sean O'Sullivan. Plenty of time to kick the field goal. No pressure coming through. Bolle a long way from him, and Asako strikes it beautifully. Wayne Bennett watching on. When they shifted left, you thought they're not thinking field goal, but when you saw Asako come from the right wing and wander into the middle of the field, they just did it a little differently with Sullivan, a two-pass field goal. How many times over the years have we seen a team take the lead, coached by Wayne Bennett? You cut to the box, one skerrick of emotion. 
from the veteran. 900 plus games at this level, plus all the games he coached, of course, back in the Brisbane competition. Coruscant goes short, a real variation, and it works for the Tigers. Tupo, well, he was tackled. And it had to be a penalty to Wes. What a Dragging him kick. towards the sideline, Coruscant's produced some Tackle tricks today, that was a beauty. We, we've seen all manner of short kicks, I've never seen one like that. Happy yeah. Coruscant, the unorthodox That's hook on the ball, and perfect. And from out near the sideline, from almost 30 metres out, the Tigers are going to take a kick for goal, try and make this 24-23, and it's the man with the ball who's been doing the kicking. Doing it all. Abby Coruscant gets the ball back to the Tigers from the restart and says, I'm going to take one here. Is he waving? Who's he waving to? He wants the ball kid from the far side of the field to bring the tee over. Clock stops now with 3.49 remaining. Knock on by Chris Hyington on the kicking tee. Hino's doing the big yards across the field. And the question is, does Abby Coruscant have the distance here to kick this well, from this position? I, I think he does. Was He's been kicking for the last couple of games. I think it was the Canberra Raiders where he slotted two from the side. So... He's pretty confident, and he's been kicking well enough. I think he gets the distance, as long as he hits it clean. If, if, if he hits it as good as he can, he definitely gets the distance. A metre in from touch, and on the 30 metre line as well. You do the maths at home and work out the exact distance on this kick. Greg Alexander has the calculator out, trying to do his trigonometry as we speak it's a 40 meter kick thank you Brady and you'd have the numbers Pythagoras still rips here is Coruscant does he have the legs yes! off the crossbar he kicked it off the crossbar he kicked it 40 meters and 10 centimetres and that's all he needed they're up in the grandstands off the restart to Tupo they get the penalty Coruscant backs himself just like his coach would want him to do it hits the crossbar and is good well he has done it all this afternoon at the Coruscant he's been striking the ball good He's been goal kicking for the last few weeks. In the circumstances, that is one of the best short kickoffs I've seen. Asako might have something up his sleeve. He returns fire. The Tigers end up with possession. The Dolphins say it was touched and went forward. They should have been offside. The referee disagreed. They were pleading for a penalty. The Tigers end up with it as they play it there. And now Uto Ikumanu here at the halfway line. You only have to go back to round 22. The Dolphins lost a heartbreaker in Bundaberg, 23-22. They led 23-22 here until Corusau produces his heroics. The back end of this set, Twal. Works it towards the 20. They've got one more play here. Do they attempt to kick. Coruscant feigns a kick, takes them on, and turns it over there. Heads up play from the general. The little general. Coruscant doing it all today for the Tigers. Wasn't going to risk a kick there if you were giving them seven tackles from their 20. No, smart play. If he, if he wasn't going to put it into a corner, he did the right thing. Just running the ball. Wallace here in the middle of the field. O'Sullivan to Nicarima. Dancing past Abby yep. Coruscant. Comes back to the middle. Trey Fuller is there putting his hand up. He's the target on Dabu. What a handful Nicarima's been this afternoon. Now O'Sullivan comes back towards Nicarima, who was scouting for the ball. Kerr pops it over the top. Graham has it. Are they thinking maybe a long ranger here? 
Oh, boy, that was, yeah, I thought it was forward. Called by the sideline official, Ben Cummins agrees and says the pass was forward. We are in line with that. Sometimes it's hard to call when you're not directly in line with the pass. We are sitting... Yep. Only fractionally forward, but it was forward. What an error. They, they might get another chance now. 40, we're, we're under a minute. The Tigers play it smart, play out this set. The Dol they deny the Dolphins another crack at it. Trailing by a point. Sarko was scouting midfield again. Looking for at least a one-pointer, if not a two-pointer. On the next play, beyond that one. Now Bateman. Inside 30 seconds remaining. As him just take some settlers here. Work it to the siren. And the Tigers, who came into this game as favourites, having won only three games all season, barring a calamity here, will win for the fourth time only in 2023. And what drama there was to get them home here today. But the Marshall era, the Benji Marshall era for the Tigers begins with a victory. There is perhaps magic in the new coach in what has been a dire season. And with a win today, they retain hope of avoiding the wooden spoon in back-to-back -back seasons. At full time here at Combank Stadium, Abby Corusau's the hero. His goal gets the Tigers home. They've taken down the Dolphins 24 to 23.